Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review More Than Miyagi, the Pat Morita story. And this is from director Kevin Derrick and focuses on Pat Morita who started off, which to be perfectly honest, for me, I only really knew him as Mr. Miyagi. And it's very interesting watching this documentary and seeing that he had a whole career before up to this point. And he was a very, he was a very talented stand-up comedian. He had times on like Happy Days, which I used to watch Happy Days, never put that together growing up. And leading up to his work on the Karate Kid films, which I feel like most people are, know him from. You have a lot of the cast from the Karate Kid coming right off the bat in this film, sharing their perspective. So this film feels like your pretty standard affair kind of documentary. It's very informative. It's not very high tech. There's some sound mixing issues and sound editing, which you pick up very quickly as it cuts between interviews and stuff like that. So it feels like, like this could have been like a made for TV documentary at times. It's interesting and it's informative. It sheds a light on his experiences, his early acting careers the perspectives that all these people who worked with him on and how great of a person he was it seemed like a really nice time. And then the film gradually started hitting into the terrible treatment of Asian actors and the lack of roles and talking about like the Mickey Rooney situations of the world and focusing on that. And it gets a little bit darker and then this documentary finally kicks into gear showing that Pat Morita, who was a great guy and a wonderful man, had serious demons. And talking about his alcoholism since he was 12 years old. His father was an alcoholic. And that's where this documentary elevates itself. And really starts painting a tragic story of a man who tried to do so well for his community and his life and the people around him, but struggled so much with this. And you see, like, you hear the story of how he was supposed to be at a Happy Days reunion and things went so wrong. And the, the understanding and the sympathy he gets from, like, Henry Winkler, who's interviewed throughout this documentary. You hear a lot from Pat Morita's wife, who he was married to by the time he had passed away. Some of his family members, including his daughters, like it mentions at the end of the documentary, did not want to be interviewed for this. There's some layers here, and this documentary finally kicks into gear and adds those layers as the film goes on. And it begins to elevate above that just standard, like, I watch this on A&E kind of documentary. It was emotional and impactful and gave a whole new perspective on this man who was a complicated person and not just this two-dimensional Mr. Miyagi type. Pat Morita had a lot to him, and his life... It was very interesting, and it was a wonderful film. By the end, I feel like this was a wonderful journey that I got to go on and learn so much more about this actor who offered so much more than just being Mr. Miyagi. So I definitely think this documentary is worth checking out. It is something that I feel like needs to be shown to add dimensions to this actor's career and his life and his impact. But those are my thoughts on More Than Miyagi, the Pat Morita story. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.